If you're looking for a light beige paint color that doesn't have the yellow beige, gold beige, orange beige, or pink beige paint colors, and you want your space to feel light, warm, airy, and inviting, then I highly recommend trying out Benjamin Moore Feathered Down. It's not a popular paint color, which is really surprising because this is a paint color I've been using hundreds of times over the years when paired correctly, it's absolutely beautiful. It's a versatile paint color. I've used it for the interior and exterior applications. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you the undertones of Benjamin Moore Feathered Down, and then I'm gonna compare it with some other similar beige paint colors so that you get a better idea of what makes this paint color so unique and then towards the end of this video I'm going to share with you just a few valuable tips that you should know about Benjamin Moore Feather Down. Now watch what happens when I compare Benjamin Moore Weed Sheaf which is considered a yellow beige. Watch this. When you compare Weed Sheaf with Benjamin Moore Feather Down you're going to instantly see the green beige grayish undertones in Benjamin Moore Feathered Down. So Benjamin Moore Feathered Down is a green beige grayish. But when you hear me say that last word grayish as the undertone, this is what I'm really trying to tell you. It's got a little bit of a gray. You're not gonna really see it, but what's happening is muting the yellow beige undertones of Benjamin Moore Feathered Down as the green beige is the dominant undertone of Benjamin Moore Feathered Down. It's too warm. Is too muted to be considered a grayish paint color. So a grayish paint color is a mix of a beige and a little bit of a gray. For example, watch what happens when I compare this with Benjamin Moore Ballet White, which is considered a grayish. Watch this. When you compare Benjamin Moore Ballet White with Feathered Down, you're gonna notice how Feathered Down is darker and warmer, and you definitely see the pronounced green beige undertones as Ballet White is light and clean without the green beige undertone. So now you know why Benjamin Moore Feathered Down is considered a green beige grayish as the undertone. Next, I'm going to compare it with some other similar paint colors so that you can see what makes Feathered Down so unique. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Sherwin-Williams Soji White, which is considered a green beige grayish Watch this. When you compare Soji White with Feather Down, you're gonna notice a few things. Soji White is lighter and cleaner in comparison to Benjamin Moore Feather Down, as Feather Down is darker, warmer, and muted in comparison to Soji White. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Sharon Williams Neutral Ground, which is considered a green beige grayish. Watch this. When you compare neutral ground with feathered down, you're gonna notice how neutral ground is warmer and darker than feathered down, as feathered down is lighter than Sherwin-Williams neutral ground. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Sherwin-Williams ivory lace, which is considered a green beige grayish. Watch this. When you compare ivory lace with Benjamin Moore feathered down, you're gonna notice how ivory lace is lighter and is clean in comparison to Benjamin Moore feathered down, as Benjamin Moore feathered down is warmer and is darker than ivory lace. And notice how feathered down has more of the green beige undertones in comparison to ivory lace. For those of you that want to save time and you're tired of trying sample after sample and you just want to get it right the first time and you want to avoid from making a costly mistake, highly recommend you go to my website. I can help you with both interior or exterior paint colors. You're going to get a chance to book a live appointment to speak with me and I'm going to explain to you what will or will not work in your home. And you're going to have the confidence knowing that it doesn't matter which paint color you select, you know is going to pair correctly in your home. Highly recommend you to read the reviews. I have over 550 reviews. See what clients have to say. I would love to help you. Next, I'm going to share with you just a few tips that you should know about Benjamin Moore Feathered Down. Tip number one, kitchen cabinet paint color. For those of you that do not want a cream kitchen cabinet or a taupe or a gray kitchen cabinet paint color, you're looking for something that's gonna be light but neutral that will pair really well with your fixed elements in your kitchen, then you might wanna try out Benjamin Moore Feathered Down. It pairs really well with cream kitchen countertops, 
taupe countertops, and gray countertops, just to name a few. Tip number two, trim paint colors. For those of you that are looking for the perfect warm off white to pair with Benjamin Moore Feather Down, highly recommend trying out Benjamin Moore Simply White. When you pair Benjamin Moore Simply White with Feather Down, it comes across as a clean, warm off white. But for those of you that are looking for a warm off white that's a little bit creamier, then I highly recommend trying out Sharon Williams Alabaster. When you compare Alabaster with Feather Down, this is where you're going to notice how Alabaster just got a little bit more depth. It's just a little bit creamier in comparison to Benjamin Moore Simply White. You can't go wrong with either one of these warm off whites for your trims. So if you found this helpful, please put a like. I would love to hear from you. And for those of you that don't want to make a costume mistake and you want to get it right the first time, please go to my website. I would love to help you. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.